And the Oscar goes to... They're the five words any aspiring actor, filmmaker, cinematographer, costume designer, animator, director, writer, production designer, sound mixer dreams of hearing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh wow, look at all the people. Oh, there's Meryl. Hi, Meryl. Oh, and there's Leo. How you doing, Leo? I mean, I'm not even prepared for this. Right. I'd like to thank the Academy. Wait, what is the Academy? The Academy came about because of this guy, Louis B. Meyer, aka the co-founder of this production company. In 1927, he decided to set up a group for people who worked in the film industry, who would work together to improve the quality of these new fangled motion pictures and give awards to the year's best movies and movie makers. On the 16th of May, 1929, 270 actors, directors, technicians, writers, producers and, well, all the other film people got tizzied up for the first Academy Awards. Back then, tickets only cost $5, and the ceremony went for just 15 minutes, so I guess acceptance speeches were a lot shorter. Oh, and how could I forget the most important little gold man of the evening? Believe it or not, no one actually knows how Oscar got his name. One theory is that the Academy's executive secretary, Margaret Herrick, thought the statue resembled her uncle Oscar. Although I doubt her uncle was 34 centimetres tall, gold and held a sword at all times. But then again, I never met the guy. Over the years, the awards grew until thousands of people were attending. In 1953, the ceremony was televised and beamed out to audiences for the first time. Today, it's one of the biggest award ceremonies in the world, with around 50 million people tuning in to watch. Although, things don't always go as planned. They gave me the wrong envelope. The winner is Kimmy Swatchman. There have also been quite a few controversies. It wasn't until 1963 that an African-American man was named Best Actor. And it wasn't until 40 years later that the first African-American woman won Best Actress. This moment is so much bigger than me. Only one woman has ever won Best Director. There's no other way to describe it. It's the moment of a lifetime. This year, lots of people complained when the Academy announced that some awards would be played during commercial breaks, including cinematography and editing. You know, the people who actually make the movies. In the end, they changed their mind. And despite the controversies and the arguments about who should and shouldn't have won, the Academy Awards are just as glamorous and just as sought after as ever. So I could wear this jacket and, and of course I'd like to thank this award for not being too heavy. Jack, what are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Thank you. I just, I can't believe it. I just never.